my beautiful souls. Today I'm sharing a little light on motivation. There are beautiful darling souls on this divine and perfect precious planet that lack motivation. Perhaps they never received the skills and the understanding on how to self-motivate during their childhood days, through their family dynamics, through further education and just generally through life. But as we become adults, we must become responsible for our lives, responsible to uplift and create our own happiness. And the one thing I know through years of practice and learning and working with large groups of people as a senior leader in uh, the hospitality industry and later on with working with animals and people and obviously the animals people and people is that everybody wants happiness you speak to anyone everybody wants happiness yet many are not prepared to do what it takes in order to bring happiness their way they complain that they are not happy they complain that they are depressed they complain that they are anxious they want you to listen to all of their woes but they lack motivation to do something about it and there's no blame or shame here because I feel that not everybody has the ability to understand what it takes in order to create happiness within sometimes we need a little bit of direction these kinds of people aren't the ones that would naturally just go ahead and meditate these are the ones that would naturally go ahead and complain because that has been their go-to over many years when people practice something they become good at it practice complaining and you'll become good at complaining practice meditating and you'll become good at meditating practice motivating yourself being a self-starter being responsible for your life and you will become good at that too so what I want to share today is that if you wish for more happiness and you wish to be more seen more heard, more understood, for your services to take off, for your abundance to grow, for your light to be shared here on this earth plane, then make peace with where you are right now. Just love yourself right now. That's the first thing. Take moments throughout the day, wrap your arms around yourself, place your hands upon your heart, Close your eyes, inwardly look at your heart. I love you, I love you, I love you. So the first thing is to love yourself, yeah? Self-mastery is first to love yourself. You move beyond self-mastery and then you've got to learn to master cosmic powers and cosmic ways of being. So at first, you have to first of all learn how to master yourself. You can't ever master anybody else only master yourself and when you master yourself you also change what appears externally for you and you assist the vibration on this beautiful planet so if you are unhappy you're actually creating more depression in this collective field of consciousness and throughout this world so you're being actually incredibly responsible when you take care of yourself in this way and you will feel so much better you'll feel so much better oh Goodness, it feels so good to feel happy. Goodness, doesn't it feel so good? First of all, what is it that you really love? What do you love to do? Where are you becoming lazy? What are you eating? You know, this is something that people just take for granted. They just open their mouths and they just shove in anything and assume that that's going to be the right nutrition for your cells. Now let me tell you this, as you rise and your frequency rises, you will need different foods to fuel your system. You don't just stay on the same food. And I've said this so many times that, you know, eating a plant-based diet is the way forward to hold more light and to be of a greater light, to be more expansive. I know that there are some people that will say, oh no, it's okay, but that's only because that's what they eat and so they want to 
um, share something that supports their beliefs, but it's just because they don't have the discipline and the motivation yet, yet, to actually hold that in their field, try that and actually experience it and see how it actually does completely transform your energetics. It completely transforms your energetics. It completely transforms the energetics of that around you. And you'll also feel much better knowing that you're actually being a lot more peaceful, a peace pilgrim here on this earth plane, not only for your own internal beingness, but for the animals and for the planet at large. And you're assisting to raise the consciousness. But as you adapt to a plant-based diet, don't get caught up in the uh, processed foods. Don't get ca too caught up in that, okay? Every now and again, not a, not a problem. But you also will find that you need to release things that are too strong. I mean, it's good to taste foods. It's good to enjoy food. It's good to break food with friends. But you will find that there are days when you just need to eat apples because you need that malic acid in your body. And you must be alert to listen to the body vehicle, not that the body vehicle takes over. Treat it like a child, treat it like a dear friend, somebody that you love dearly. But your system needs certain things and sometimes you need to be able to carry more light. You're not gonna be able to carry a lot of light if you've eaten something that's very dense and heavy and takes a long time to break down and to process throughout your body vehicle. So you need to be aware of that. You need to be very considerate about what you really love to do. And if you don't know what you love to do, then I suggest you try things out, experience them. One of the things that I use within my Flourish Energetics model is creative expression. This doesn't just have to be colouring, uh, using paints and pants, pencils and stuff like that. It can be way beyond that. It can be, you know, dancing, movement, any form of expression, light language, singing, toning, going out into nature, hugging trees. There's so many different ways you can do it. Skipping, skipping is a great one. It's a great one. There's so many different things that you can do. And you want to uplift your energy first thing in the morning. Uplift your energy first thing in the morning. Play, play, play. Meditate. And then be really motivated. No matter what it is, even if you're tired, get your energy levels up. Drink some nice water. Bless your water. Bless your food. Invigorate yourself. Have a salt water bath. Have a swim. Have a a good walk in nature. Hug some trees. Tell them they that you love them. Tell yourself that you love yourself. Keep telling yourself you love yourself until you feel a lot better if you have to. Depends. Everybody has a different starting point on this. But the more that you do this, the more you'll feel motivated to make the changes necessary to work on your greatest trajectory. And that that you've come here to explore and to experience in this current now lifetime. Revere your life, celebrate your life, be a self-starter, be motivated to utilize every precious droplet of this linear time that you have to play with in this current now, in this now, in this now, in this now, so that you feel truly delighted because when you actually create and when you're actually creating things that bring you joy, at the end of the day, you feel good about yourself. And when you feel good about yourself, you feel more happy. And then you get more, more motivated to do more of that. Or oh, more of that, please. More of that, please. Yes, more of that, please. It's a, a circular way of being. It's, it's kind of like a spiral. It continues, it continues. But you have to start somewhere. You have to be aware of where you are. You have to be aware that why you've become like this, but not going into all of the past. Nobody cares. Nobody wants to know your story. It's boring, you know, that's old hat, that's old paradigm ways of being when people want to sit down next to a counsellor and offload all of their crap. That's so old hat. Everybody's got stories, everybody's got density from the past, but the past is an illusion and it's not, it's not there anymore, it's gone, okay? You are here right now. How are you gonna use your now wisely and with compassion, 
and forgiveness and non-judgment. If you're still going back there, you're living in the past. So you're going to create more of that because that's the frequency that you're in. So you've got to let that go. Forget about it. Don't talk about it. Don't go on about it. No one, no one cares. No one cares. The only people that care, people on the same frequency, that want to carry on talking about their wounds too. And do you really want to be in that state? Because it's not a happy state to be in. So if you want to be in a happy state, you've got to be motivated. You've got to motivate yourself every single day because motivation will bring you joy and will assist you inside your heart to feel good about yourself if you are actively using that motivation to create responsibly and being aware as you're doing so because the more that you carry on through this the greater momentum you will get and then everything starts to like be like a, a beautiful wonderful I would say machine but we're not talking about machines we're talking about the divine human here but everything works in unison everything becomes unified and everything is about unity right now everything is about unity consciousness and everybody has to rise to do their bit it can't be done for you no one can do this for you you have to do this for yourself there can be encouragement there can be shared tools there can be uh, good energies shared your way blessings shared your way support shared your way but ultimately everybody has to do this for themselves everyone has to explore and discover what it is that brings them joy motivate themselves carry themselves forward get into that happy happier state and then keep rising up the levels from there and it's easy because it's practice and everything when practiced you become good at and that's the truth that is the truth everything that you practice you will become good at everything that you practice you will become very good at you want to be great be a great practicer <laughs> be a great practitioner I wish you all lots of love may you be motivated to follow your divine and perfect beautiful path to bring you great joy and happiness in these ever-changing times during this great shift in consciousness here keep expanding as one unifying 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 all for unity consciousness all for the christed consciousness all for the love keep bringing in more love being more love sharing more love through love ever expanding love blessings and joy and peace to you all my name is Zaza and you can like subscribe and share this video please if you feel called to do so thank you